Hello guys, welcome to another stream. Um, today we're going to look at something different, something I've been trying to figure out and that is how to do like um, unit testing for for Vue.js, for TypeScript, kind of in a lower Valley context, like it's a um, the TypeScript resources are running in a, in a Laravel project. So, I think let's get started. So, this first year, so what we're going to do, try and do is we're going to look for TypeScript and then we're going to look for, let's say, um, okay, well, we got TypeScript injecting. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this kind of looks promising. So, we kind of got it. Okay, that's just kind of a setup. We pass that point. There's just, okay, so. By the looks of it, we're probably going to need those two things. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do yarn, add, and then I'm going to add those two. And now it's going to pull, so let's go look further. So, next thing we're going to need, looks like, is we're going to need in the scripts part of our package, is we are going to need uh, that. Okay. Um, memory changes. Not screwed up. Okay, right. okay, let's see. So, looks like we're also going to need a few just thing. So, that. Okay, so we've got kind of need a jest block in the packages JSON, so do that. Okay, let's do that then, sorry. Can't really allow this, take that out. Okay, let's maybe make this, don't know what this does, but let's see, try to make it much more local. And then, looks like we need like a touch good thing as well. I need the... Uh, I guess I do we need... I guess I'm assuming I need to put you down below. I guess the test files looks like it needs to be an underscore underscore test. So let's see. So folder, tests, and then let's make that, let's make that a think, or a spec, so SRC components test, hello world, spec, or TS, yeah, so page of spec, and we're going to delete all of that, and we're going to need to rename it, I think, to a .ts, yeah. Yes, okay, so let's see. So, kind of got SRC, let's recall that. So, okay, and then home page to that. Okay, so let's see what happens. So it failed to run. Cannot find expect. Also, don't think chicken matches the right thing. Let's see what else is here. What are we looking for? Okay, yeah. Probably looking for two contains. So let's see. And we're also not. We're not passing any properties to, let's see if we can do it without the, and then let's see what we've got, you are logged in. So let's say, let's see if we can look for that. Okay, so let's see what it does. Okay, so, we get, cannot find this crime, do you need to install definition type banner? So, Okay, so it looks like it also needs this. Let's 
So you want to add and look for types. Sorry, what should we add in there? Let's see what happens if I try to run it again. Double core, okay, so it's looking for battle core as well. Sorry. Go, bevel core, bevel core, bevel core. Let's see what happens next. So, it is running. Okay, ran. Okay. Ooh, okay, cool. So, can't find the user block. So, the user block is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the kind of flood of block pattern but I kind of became a huge fan of it because I think it nicely separates the, the business logic from the front end while still making it kind of easy for the business logic to get to the front end. So the way that this works is that we've kind of got this user block here which is the container for business logic. I think block stands for something like business logic um, container and then the idea is that we kind of define methods in our, in our block and what happens is that we've kind of got streams for communicating back to the front end. So for this block, what we're doing is, is that we're fetching the, the user data details from the from a Laravel root, as then we're putting the user data data in a in a stream, and then that stream then gets used by the front end over here. So over here we subscribe to the stream, and every time we we get some data back in the stream, is then we assign it to the to the current user in this. In this component so the nice idea with this is like for the block is, is that if you guys are doing like web sockets or like pusher or something is that you guys can set up pusher here and the same way that you would use the api to add data to the to the stream is that you can use something like pusher from web sockets to add data to exact same stream so it doesn't matter really where the data comes from this is that it ends up in the front end regardless of um, but for us right now, so we just kind of want to make sure that, the, that we can run the test. And I think it's this for right now is a little bit too much. Because like we'll maybe do it in, a, in another video where we're testing how to do like injects with, um, with view and with chest. And but for now, I think let's kind of just try and remove this stuff. And then we also probably need to remove that and that. And I don't know what else. Okay, that we don't need anymore. Descriptions data is okay. So one of the nice things automatically right now is, is we get this sort of thing where we can test whether stuff is working or not. And let's see. So let's see if we do that. What happens? If it fails, if we do that, just to make sure that we're testing the negative case, to make sure that our test actually test will be expected. To test. So it says that expected string you are logged in and the uh, received string what we got is dashboard you are logged in so we kind of got a basic test for component running so as far as i understand this describes kind of the name of the test this is more renders let's call this renders um home page component so this basically what this does, it kind of mounts the, the component in like a in a test shell, gives us access to it, is that we can say that okay for this text, let's see if it contains the you're logged in, right? That's kind of by the looks of what it does. Um, we go to test, we go to component, and yeah, so the idea being is is we can um, look at writing tests for components inside of this inside of this kind of TypeScript Vue.js um, environment. And, um, okay, thank you for joining. Hope you guys find it useful. Until next time, bye.